Hey folks, Randy Go Trout Magna Man with you here today. Today, folks, I got a video of where I caught a ton of shell crack over Ball Knob Lake yesterday. Had a beautiful day weather-wise. It did get a little bit warm. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. It was in the mid uh, mid to upper 80s uh, most of the day. Uh, the sun uh, would go in behind the clouds, uh, which made for great, great, great weather. Uh, had a little breeze blowing down the creek uh, that I was fishing in. Uh, that's always good to uh, keep you keep you cooled off. But anyway, it was, it was a great day weather-wise, and uh, found a lot of fish. Caught a lot of uh, juvenile shell cracker. Caught a lot of shell cracker from seven to nine inches. Caught a couple that went ten inches. Uh, still have not gotten into the shell cracker I got into last year over there. Don't know why that is. Uh, I will continue to hunt and look, uh, but I was very happy with what I got into yesterday. You know, folks. This is what I preach on my channel about ultralight angling. It doesn't take a huge fish if you've got the right ultralight gear to catch these fish, to have a lot of fun. Uh, I had the Diplomatic Stream 6 foot 2 ultralight spooled up with the Varivas Lemony ES2 Ester line. It breaks at 2.3 pounds, had a fluorocarbon leader on there for a shock leader. And I tell you, I love fishing that setup for shellcracker and bluegill, and it's absolutely a hoop to fish with. Uh, five inch fish just give you all you want. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Of course, I would love to go out and catch 10, 11, 12, 13 inch shell cracker, but that ain't the norm, uh, not in this lake. Uh, there might be some in there. You might get some every once in a while, but you're not gonna catch them, you know, in any kind of quantity. You're not gonna go over and catch 30 or 40 of those fish like that. You will catch 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 of the shell cracker from seven to nine inches. But the big ones, uh, they can be hard to come by. Uh, I did not come by any yesterday, uh, but I will get back out over there and keep looking as I said. But, uh, and also I used the uh, six foot three Luna Kia, hybrid light game rod. Had it spooled up with a three pound test for Rebus, a very low stretch nylon. Uh, that's a great setup. Both these setups are absolutely fantastic for bluegill and shellcracker. I absolutely love them. Uh, before someone asked, no, I did not take the Slow Taper Special. Uh, uh, it's still my favorite rod. I love to fish with it, and I will take it out and fish with it again. But these two rods for bluegill and brim are, 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 are really exceptional for fun factor and, and for feel and sensitivity too, really. And the thing about it, the thing that's really great is the six foot three uh, Luna Kia gives you a much different feel than a six foot two Diplomatic Stream. That is what's great about these JDM rods. They all have their own unique characteristics in how they feel. And of course, that's, that's true with any rod. Even if you get a cheaper ultralight rod, I say they're gonna feel different. Maybe they don't, I don't know, because I haven't fished a cheap ultralight rod in years, but uh, these JDM rods, they give you a different feel from rod to rod, and I love that, I love that. I mean, it's just, it's just fantastic. And of course, you're gonna get a different feel when you're fishing ester line versus nylon monofilament line. Big difference there. Uh, I really like uh, fishing with ester, as y'all know. Uh, but of course, when you're tired, you've been fishing for three hours and, and you break off, you don't wanna retire a leader. I don't, I get lazy. Uh, so you pick up the six foot three Luna Kia and you start using it. But uh, caught a bunch of fish with both rods and it turned out to be just a fantastic day. Folks, I caught these fish all on trout magnet using the uh, uh, JDM jig heads. Uh, either the uh, Gekabajan uh, TG SS jig head or my old uh, standbys that I've had for years, the uh, Gekabajan SS uh, lead jig heads. Uh, 1.5 gram is my sweet spot. Uh, I just seemed to like that. Had, had, like I said, it had a breeze, so you, you know, one gram wasn't gonna quite cut it with the breeze. You get the bow in the line, and, and you still get a bow with 1.5 gram, but not as much. And uh, when you can't feel that jig head, do that bow, then you, you're not going to catch a lot of fish. That's been my experience anyway. But I uh, used the side bug colored trout magnet, bison colored, and root beer float color. Caught fish on all three of them. Didn't seem to make a difference. I was just switching up, switching around. Um, and that was that was, that was was the lure that caught them. Uh, and of course, I had the, the uh, jig head tipped with a uh, small piece of the Berkeley Power Wiggler. I cut them into sections and tip, especially when I'm fishing for shell cracker, I tip the, the jig head with that. Now when I'm using that trout magnet to fish for trout, I don't tip that jig head. It seems to take away from the 
profile and look of the trap magnet. The trap don't seem to like, and I've talked to a lot of people about that. Uh, talked to Jeff Smith, the owner of Trap Magnet, about that. And he said, yeah, it's, he said, just something about it that scent doesn't really play a difference uh, when it comes to catching trout, at least we have found anyway. So anyway, folks, uh, that's the lure I used. Now, I'm gonna tell you where to find these uh, shell cracker if I hadn't already done so. Uh, in this time of year, this type of weather, look for the term they call substrate. Now, what a substrate is, that's in my case, I'm looking for organic matter on the bottom. And what that is, is decayed leaves, uh, wood, uh, where it's decaying. And what that does, that attracts, uh, it attracts all kinds of things. It attracts insects, it attracts bugs, uh, and then it attracts uh, uh, bait fish. Uh, and I am going to assume that that will also attract what the uh, uh, shell cracker really love to feed on is the mussels, although I've not found any evidence of mussel beds over at uh, Ball Knob Lake. They may be there, but I've not seen any. But it attracts worms, it, it attracts all kind of stuff. And that has been the key for me over the years, this time of year, to finding shell cracker. Look for that bottom in four, five, six feet of water that's covered in dead decaying matter such as leaves. Usually that'll be right up next to the bank where the leaves have blown in. Sometimes the grass, uh, depending on you know how high the grass is there, it will do the same depending on what's on the grass. But bushes, uh, stuff just falls off into the water and it forms a mass on the bottom there, the substrate as it's called scientifically. Of course, that's just a term that they use. But uh, in my case, it's organic matter, decaying matter. And uh, you're gonna find shell cracker this time of year when that's the case. Uh, when you start looking at bottoms that are, in this time of year, when they're on there out feeding, they're not on bed, none of these fish are on bed. Uh, when they're out feeding, they're going to where the food is. And if you go for a bare gravel bottom, yeah, there may be some food there, but it's gonna be a lot more food on those dead, decaying leaves on the bottom. There's just gonna be a lot of food around those areas. So that's what I would hunt for. Uh, that's what I did. Uh, 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 there was, I saw no fish on the uh, side imaging. Uh, made a few quick scans, uh, but that didn't. That don't necessarily mean anything. A lot of times, side imaging will show you fish if there's a lot of fish there. But sometimes, you're just not going to see them. So I just pulled back and uh, spot locked and proceeded to catch fish. I was catching a fish up about every fourth or fifth cast. Uh, just just a lot of action. Uh, it had to be a lot of action for me to stay out there five hours. I tell you. Uh, but it turned out to be, as I said, a fantastic day. The wife enjoyed it. Didn't get to see the eagle. Uh, saw some uh, egrets uh, and a bunch of red-winged blackbirds out there, uh, cardinals. There's a lot of bird life out there, but did not see the eagle. I don't know where they were at, uh, but I'm sure they were somewhere hunkered down, maybe in the shade, I don't know. But uh, gonna get back out there as soon as I can. Uh, and I don't know exactly when that'll be. Got to go out of town here this upcoming week. And before that, it's supposed to rain every day before I leave. So I don't know uh, if I'll get back out anytime soon. Believe you me, I'd love to be out there again today. I mean, I would absolutely love it. Uh, because those fish are there, they're ripe for the picking. And I would love to be doing it again because I love catching them things. I love it more than anything that I catch, I tell you. They're just a fantastic fish to catch. But anyway, that's about it, folks. Uh, what's going on here? Pardon the noise, we've got uh, some vehicles in there that think they're uh, Mario Andretti or something. We've got a few people mowing yards. I hope you don't pick that up. Uh, and then of course we've got the geese across the street, uh, which every once in a while the geese get on my property and that boy, they leave a mess. They leave an absolute mess. But anyway, I uh, wanted to get this video up, get it out. So hope all of you are well, hope you're safe, hope you're healthy, hope you're fishing, hope you're catching a bunch of fish. So until next time, soar live them all, and life is good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, all right. 
see what we got here. Yeah, I think we do need a net. Yes, I think we do. Got my net lady with me again today, folks. It's always good to have her. I think it's a shell cracker. No, it's a nice bluegill. Shoot, fine. What you talking about? I say nice. He's nice for bone mom. All right, thanks. Well. All right, first fish of the day. It's about a six inch bluegill, six and a half. He's okay. He give me a lot of fun though. That's what counts, folks. I'm gonna tell you. All right, let's get him back in the water. Here we go. Here we go. That's good fish here. That's good fish here. I do believe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Just joking. Yeah, that's good fish here. All right. Well, <laughs> this shark cracker for you. They are strong fighters. I thought this fish was much bigger than what it was, but hey, certainly take it. A lot of fun. It's only about an 8 inch shell cracker. Pretty fish though. Alright, let's get him back in the water. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. Another decent fish. Well, where'd he go? I got him, I got him, I got him. All right, this, uh... Pretty seven inch shell cracker. Give me a lot of fun. All right, let's get him back in the water. Here we go, here we go. Another shell cracker. I do believe. Not a big one, but hey, a lot of fun. Hey, not a bad fish though. Shoot fire. What you talking about? Yes, yeah, sir. That's the best one yet, I think. That's a nine inch shell cracker. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right, back he goes. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Another shell cracker. Yes, sir. Putting up a good battle. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. This, this, a, this is what you're looking for, folks, right here now. He's a Shoot giant. fire. Well, he ain't no giant, but he's a good one. He's a good one. Thank you, baby. Yeah, that's that's a good shell cracker right there. Now that's what you want to get. He's a little spawned out though. He's looking a little. He needs to put on some weight. But hey. He gave me a good battle. Let's get him back in the water. Go for it. I was giving you the side eye. The side eye? Yes. All right. Side eye. Here we go. Here we go. Another shell cracker, folks. Another shell cracker. This one's pulling pretty good. Yes, sir. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This, this choker. This choker, I think, is a pretty good one. Let's get him up here. Oh yeah, yeah, nice one, nice one, yes sir. All right, let's get him up here. Got my net lady on it. Thank you, baby. 
You're welcome. Simmer down here. Where'd he go? All right. Get this fish unbuttoned here. If I can. Oops. Hmm. Well. All right. Let's just submit shellcrackers. But folks, these shellcrackers, they pull, they fight. And that's why I love catching them. Because they're a whole lot of fun. All right, let's get this joker back in the water. One more test. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. Another shell cracker. Yes, sir. Another shell cracker. All right. Yes, sir. There he is. Like another right. giant. It's a good fish for sure. That's for sure. This choker's heavy. He got he ain't spawned out. He's got the he or she, I'm not sure which one it is, but they got the weight to them. That's a seven inch healthy shell cracker right there. Maybe eight inch. I shouldn't say seven, that's eight inches, maybe better. Would you like to measure it? No, no need to measure this one. I'll wait till I get that twelve inch to measure. All right, let's get him back in the water. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What we got here? What we got here? Another shell cracker. Another decent shell cracker, folks. Another good shell cracker. Thank you, darling. You are welcome. This is a decent eight inch fish. Pretty fish. A lot of fun. Alright, let's get him go back to wherever he lives. Alright. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come back to the spot where I was catching fish. All right, another shell cracker. Another decent shell cracker. All right, come on up in there. Yes, sir. All right, got my net lady on it. Thank you. You're welcome. Another. I say eight inch, eight and a half inch shell cracker. Give me, give me a good battle. All right, let's get him back. Here we go, here we go, another one, another one. All right, yes sir, this one's cutting up now. Yes sir, another shell cracker. All right, I believe this is a better fish. It's a good fish, no matter what. All right, yes sir, this is a good one. All right, thank you dear. You're welcome. Oh yeah, this joker, he's healthy. He got some. Get him on 
hoop here. There we go. That's a good nine inch shell cracker. Maybe nine and a half. Pretty fish. Got some good coloring on him. All right, let's get him back. 